yay love going into a marriage with a cost of living crisis <laughs> love that for me trying to see you through the dust i don't know why my room is so dusty like raw like this is really bad but anyway today is the 19th of august and i haven't done like a sit down general video in such a long time uh my hair's mess i'm supposed to be taking it out today it's a friday today oh it's probably my hair that's dusty because it needs taking out i'm like what's all these dust particles just flying around my room and it's my hair um but anyways um it's friday today i didn't go to work because i wasn't feeling too good right i'm just burnt out bro i'm burnt out to the core and i needed a break so yeah it's midday now um and i thought i would just do an update video like literally just sit down and tell you everything while going because it's been so long since i've done that i know it's just been event after event after event and i haven't actually sat down for a while and just properly told you what's been going on now i don't remember because it's been such a long time so i'm gonna go through my phone starting from today and work my way back and then hopefully here and there i'll be able to insert a few photos and videos if i did take anything from that time but the reason why i wanted to do this today is because the biggest news is today so starting with the 19th of august my sister gave birth which means i'm an auntie for the fourth time my sister gave birth to a baby girl at 2 50 a.m somewhat like 2 50 a.m this morning so that's amazing so that's the first news <laughs> i don't know when i'm gonna see her she's in the hospital at the moment so i don't know when i'm gonna go see her and the baby but there's that and then on the sunday what day was sunday on the 14th of august um i went to i went for a meal because it was my cousin's birthday my cousin's 18th birthday also yesterday i don't know if i'll have footage of this but yesterday that same cousin was on channel 4 because she was talking about her um a levels um and just like you know telling people like you know what it was like with being in covid and taking exams and she got all a's and she's going to medical school but yeah she was on tv like it was sick so that same cousin was actually on tv yesterday but anyways that's besides the point what else happened as you know i had my bridal shower that's probably the last time you saw me come into deep it that is probably Sorry, there's a web in my room and I can't stop looking at it because I'm trying to see if there's a spider attached. So I'm just scared. Okay, okay, I need to focus, but I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, I need to do <clears throat> quickly. Um so yeah, that's probably the last time I saw you for my bridal shower. So I had my bridal shower on what day was it? The sec the, the 7th of August was my bridal shower. That was super, super cute. And then on the 26th of July. The day I landed back into the UK, my fiancé passed his driving test and a week ago he became fully insured on my car to start driving. I think that is it. If I was to go before DR, then ugh, honestly I don't remember. I think that's casting my brain too far back. You, All the vlogs of DR you've seen. Oh, my fiancé graduated on the 14th of July. I went for my... I went for my best friend's birthday meal to Akbar's and then we went to a dessert place on the 3rd of July and then I had my sister's baby shower <laughs> on the 26th of June so you should have already seen that as well and then Liverpool for my sis other sister's Hindu um, on that jubilee weekend okay i'm done i'm done we're going too far back it's like it's just too much but in between that yes it has been people's birthdays and stuff like that but i don't want to go too back or too deep because we need to move forward also my wedding is in exactly one month 12 days 11 hours and my honeymoon by the way haven't told you yet but i'm going to the maldives and that is in it that mm, that is in exactly 11 weeks and 12 hours so 
yes is there anything else i need to tell you um wedding planning we've basically i feel like i say this every time but we have basically done almost everything a couple of vendors so a couple of vendors to pay off or is it just one no i think it's just one no is it no okay so one vendor and then we just need to finish off paying our honeymoon and that's it we did the seating plan on monday to make sure everyone knows where they're sat um, and if anyone has any special dietary requirements and that's so we so we did that i just need to fill it out and send it over to the venue and um, we still need to do music choices we've done music choices as in like walking down the aisle walking back down the aisle taking pictures and signing of the register we've done those but we need to do um the background music for the arrival of pe of guests the background music for the arrival drinks and the background music for the meal and then we also need to do the music for the reception for the dj in the evening so we need to sort that out as well we're still gonna have like just some last minute talks with our vendors just to make sure we know everything what's going on on the day um we've been to the venue to sort out the timings and the order of the ceremony and everything like that we need to get our rings we'll do that next month sometime in september probably middle of september um, all the bridesmaids have their dresses they probably just need to get their shoes the groom has his suit but the groomsmen still need to get theirs obviously obviously men are last minute in everything in life is there anything else last minute we need to do you know just like get confetti i still might get some cute little favors from etsy oh i need to get the boards do you know that says welcome to john and jane's wedding on this date this is a location i don't know why it says location on that because obviously you know where the location is because you're there i need to order them a couple of them from etsy one that says welcome and another one that has a seating plan on it oh my bouquet and the bridesmaids bouquets and the groomsmen's little flowers but these are all things that can just be literally done a month before like it's, it's really not that deep so all these things can be done next month anyway saying that it's the 19th of august next month is literally in two weeks <laughs> but you know it's not that deep um i think the biggest things are the signs for the easels because we want to make sure they come on time so yeah also we finally found our place um where we're going to be starting off our you know marriage and we pick up the keys on the 2nd of september my fiance will most likely move in mid september and then i'll be moving in after we get married but i think basically that is all the um announcements i have september's next month so it's my birthday <laughs> 29 so before my brain explodes i think that's everything i definitely do think that's everything so today since we're here i might as well tell you why i'm going today i'm going to take out my hair and wash it i was meant to stay at my sister's house you know the one that's just had a baby uh, tomorrow night because i didn't think she'd come on her due date and she actually did have her baby on her due date so you know shock horror so i don't think i'll be staying there i just feel like you know she should have her time with her new family her new extended family because obviously once you're married you are a family even if it's just two of you whatever um but yeah i'm gonna just take out my hair wash it um try get this seat in plan typed up send it over send it over to the venue and hopefully get them paid pronto also in regards to my job hunting i'm still hunting i don't want to get too stressed out about work i want to leave it in god's hands because i don't know when you're going to see this video but right now the cost of living is is crazy and it's so it's gone up a lot it's going up again in october and i'm talking everything petrol food bills every bill you can think of i don't know about clothes because i haven't really been clothes shopping so i don't know but definitely your everyday things like food petrol and gas electric and water has just gone sky high and it's raising again in october so yay i love going into a marriage with a cost of living crisis <laughs> love that for me my nails appointment is booked for the 30th i want to say the 30th of september but it could be the 29th i'm not sure um and then i pick up my wedding dress end of september my hair and makeup is being done by my cousin i'm not having no trial run it's my cousin so we'll see what happens on the day <laughs> yeah, i keep thinking i'm done with the news but something just keeps popping into my head but I'm, I'm done now wow even my camera's a bit dusty because i literally don't film like that anymore guys i honestly don't film like that i have so much content that i just don't need to film anything 
so but i just thought i'd give you an all-round kind of catch up about life yeah, speaking of so much content i need to leave this is a whole 15 minute video <laughs> just sat here so um anyways i hope you're all doing well and uh, yeah i will see you guys whenever i see you possibly for my birthday i don't think i'm doing anything so i don't know if i'll see you for my birthday i might just say hi it's my birthday and that's it because i don't know what to tell you it's my birthday i'm 29 you know i'm gonna be 29 so i don't know we'll see we'll see okay i will see you guys on my next video Bye.